Melissa Ryan, it was a sad day for all the men and women who protect our borders as it was for the Zapata family here of Brownsville. Just hours ago, they learned that ICE agent Jaime Zapata was shot and killed in Mexico. ICE Director John Morton confirmed the death to Action 4 News. In a statement, he says this is a very difficult time for ICE, especially for the families and loved ones of those involved. And indeed, dozens of ICE agents gathered here throughout the night, sticking close to one another as they mourn the death of one of their own. Many cars also lined the streets of Coffeeport Road earlier as many stopped by to give the Zapata family their condolences. And as you can see here in the video, the private road where the Zapata family lives has been heavily guarded by ICE agents and local police. An ICE agent tells us at this time there is no family spokesperson to comment on Zapata's death. And although we haven't been able to get through this private road to reach the Zapata family for comment, a neighbor walking by earlier told us the family is in so much grief, she can hear their cries all the way to her home next door. For now in Brownsville, Daisy Martinez, Action 4 News.